Um, all right, so I'm Patricia Thompson, founder of the Food is Medicine Summit and Expo, um, coming to Dallas in 2020. Uh, we are sharing teasers of our valued presenters for the summit. And today I have the honor of talking to Thomas Tadlock, and I'm just really excited to talk to him. And I wanted to give you a little bit of background of, of Thomas, and here's some of the wonderful things that he's been doing. So he is, I'm only taking a snippet of his bio, because otherwise I'd be here for 15 minutes, but he's a best-selling author, a corporate wellness trainer and strategist. He's the founder of Smoothie Shred and co-founder of Goodbye Lupus. He's the author of The Miracle Metabolism and has spoken to tens of thousands of folks on health and wellness. Together with his wife, Dr. Brooke Goldner, who will also be at our summit, has helped countless clients rid themselves of autoimmune disease. He has appeared on MTV and Bravo and a host of others and is the producer and host of Vegan Body Revolution. And I think he might have a new book coming out. So let's find out. Um, hi, Thomas. Good morning. Hi. Hello from Houston. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for having you here, for being here today. Um, there's so much to talk about. I can't believe all the amazing things that you're doing. Um, and I had asked you before how you get any sleep. And what did you say? You said something about prioritizing. A long time ago, long time ago, I, I, made, I made the leap for myself and decided to learn as much about business as I knew about fitness and health. And that really saved me. It allowed me to create a lot more things in my life without having to overextend my time. That's smart. Smart thinking, especially in today's world when you have so many things coming at you and so many opportunities. Yeah. Um, so I always like to start in the beginning with folks like you that have such an um, interesting um, uh, life right now. How did you start on your plant-based journey? Well, the, the story I like to tell, and it's, it's totally true. It started with Brooke and she tricked me into it. So if you, if you know Brooke, my wife. That was a woman. <laughs> yep, Dr. Brooke Goldner, Tadlock, who's also the best-selling author of two famous books now, Goodbye Autoimmune Disease and Goodbye Lupus. She's also a board-certified psychiatrist. So she knows how to get into one's head. And so she really got into mine. So she went vegan before I did. And she was even vegetarian before that. And I always admired her for doing that. I mean, her reasons were quite clear. It was ethics and health. And every time she'd see me eating a piece of meat, I could see it on her face. It just would <laughs> break her heart. And I didn't know how to uh, not eat meat and maintain a muscular physique because I was a personal trainer at the time and a lot of my clients wanted to build muscle. And I was really successful as a personal trainer because I had a body that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And when uh, one day she proposed to me that maybe I should go on a vegan diet and teach people how to build muscle. How, how to, and I, th I said to Brooke, I said, I have no idea how to do that. I've never done that before. And frankly, I don't even think it can be done. And so then she says something and she knows that I have a really big ego and she goes, well, if there's anybody that could figure it out, it's you. <laughs> I said, you're right. It is me. <laughs> so I, I gave her a commitment that in about a week, I was going to go on an eight week journey Wow! to discover how to build as much muscle as I possibly could on a vegan diet. And I did. And four days into it, I realized, oh my gosh, I, for some reason, all of the ethical reasons that she was vegan, it finally, for the first time in my life clicked for me. And by day four, I made a commitment to myself that I'm never, ever going back to eating meat again. Ah, so whether, whether I get in bad shape or not, whether I figure out how to build muscle, I mean, because I'm only four days into it, so I haven't figured out how to build any muscle yet. But um, that was what did it for me. And the sad story about that is, after the eight weeks was over, I was way worse off than I was when I started. I was eating vegan, but all the wrong stuff. Uh -huh. I wasn't training in a way that really supported my body on a vegan diet. Because the thing, I learned a lot of things along the way. Like one thing was that there's no, there, there, there's very little inflammation that happens to your body, little, little to none, right? And I realized I wasn't training nearly enough. As a meat eater, I could hit a muscle part maybe once a week before it was fully recovered. But on a vegan diet, I would be fully recovered in, in one to two days. And so I was wondering, at first, I wasn't getting any results, why that was. And I realized it was because I, only, I was only training one, uh, a body part once a week. 
But on a vegan diet, I could train that same body part about three to four times that same week. Yeah. And so once I made that realization, I changed up my training program and then I got the fastest results in muscle building that I'd ever achieved in my entire life yeah. eating huge amounts of meat. I was eating about 250, 275 grams of protein every single day for meat. And I still, in my entire fitness career, never built as much muscle as quickly as I did on a vegan diet. Wow. And I so that video. because of that, I had to go and tell the world and teach the world how to do the same thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you. So it's all because of Brooke and so many, I'd say all the best things in my life has happened uh, since she's been in my life. Ah, that's true love. Um, so I was going to say that that was one of the most beautiful things I read about um, your relationship with your wife um, and that the ultimate gift of love that you gave to her um, and helped her on her journey to cure her lupus. And mm -hmm. I thought that that was just, that's like a beautiful love story. I love that. Thank um, you, thank you. So what's your philosophy to health? Well, it's, uh, it's actually quite simple. Most people's issues with their health comes from not what they're, uh, not what they're overeating. It actually has to do with more with uh, what they're not eating. Mm -hmm. And that was also my secret trick to helping people lose a lot of body weight very, very easily back in the day. Before I even was vegan, mm -hmm. I ran into a really well-known biochemist who was, he was a 65-year-old man who used to come to the health club that I worked at. And he was just, he was ripped full of muscle and just no joke, about four to six percent body fat all year round, which was impressive. This, he wasn't a professional bodybuilder, but he looked better than all of my professional bodybuilder friends. And so I used to always ask him for advice about what he's doing and what he really taught me. He said, Thomas, you know, when you're looking at the human body and how to nourish it in terms of just protein, fat, and carbohydrates and water, it's not enough. <laughs> you're not looking at the whole picture. You got to look at all of the micronutrients that are involved as well. And he has a lab that tests supplements and gives them a report telling them what's what ingredients and in what percentages are in there and so on. And he said, you know, after all these years of doing this kind of work, we have, sh we have seen that when people are unhealthy, it's because they're actually malnourished. There are certain ingredients in their body that are just in a low quantity that's keeping them unhealthy. And so I, uh, I started just adding those ingredients. And very simply, he said, you know, you got to just add the cruciferous vegetables. You have to add the foods that have the most vitamins and minerals in them. You can't just get it from a supplement. You actually have to eat it from whole foods. And that was, that was a game changer for me because then I started just making all of my clients get all of their carbohydrates from nothing but the most nutrient dense foods out there, which happen to be just lots and lots of raw vegetables, especially from the cruciferous family. And my goodness, people's results started just taking off. It was, it was amazing because I could keep the calories the same. I could keep the macronutrients the same, the protein numbers, the fat and the carbohydrates, but then suddenly the results would get dramatically better. Mm -hmm. So that was an eye opener because that's not what I was taught in all of, I mean, I have a graduate degree in exercise science and I was never taught anything like that. Mm -hmm. I had to take these advanced nutrition classes and none of them taught me that. Shame. So, so that, that was, it was, that was how I, um, how I really, really created my philosophy. I said, gosh, we need to focus more on what's missing. Uh, you know, of course we want to take out stuff, but we haven't even solved the most fundamental problem. The body can't even do its job without the all the nutrients that it needs to do to do its job mm -hmm. that's smart i think people get caught up in the things that they're not going to be able to eat anymore and aren't thinking about all the different opportunities they have to to eat a variety of different foods uh, anyway i love that i love that philosophy well you know the, you know what makes it really click for people is i i do so you know i i learned business a long time ago too and i've i've, I've created quite a few businesses and companies and one of my companies is i do a lot a heavy amount of real estate investing every single month we're buying properties and selling properties and i look at it this way it's like if you're going to if you're going to remodel a house or build your dream home you need all the materials that is required to build that dream home. If you want to build some really nice modern mansion with lots of glass, you need lots of glass. You need all of the framework materials, the wood, you need the roofing material, the drywall, all of that stuff, right? 
And then of course the workers. Well, I think of our cells. Our cells are the workers and we have different cells that do different jobs. You know, just like in a house, you have flooring people, you have roofing people, you have electrical, you have plumbing. We have all those type of functions in our body as well. And we can have the best team and the best crew, but if we're only giving that team, our crew, just a subset of all the materials it needs to do its job, you'll never create the masterpiece that you want. You'll never create your dream home. It's like, if I were to just say, hey, all nutrients that we need are just carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, and some water. It's like saying, I want you to go out there and build the most amazing, beautiful dream home that you've ever imagined, but I'm only gonna give you wood, roofing material, and drywall, that's it, nothing more. Now go build the dream, it can't, as much as, your crew wants to and has a desire to, they can't because you're not giving them all the materials. So that's where the micronutrients come in. The micronutrients are all the materials that are missing mm -hmm. from most people's diets. Yeah. And it's why they're not getting the results or the rate of results that they hope they can get. Well, you're living proof of that, right? Well, thank you, I am. So you wrote a book on the miracle metabolism, is that right? It's called Miracle Metabolism. So tell me a little bit about, I think everybody has this, misunderstanding of what metabolism means. Can you? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. So I remember going through all of my fitness and personal training certifications and even through getting my master's degree, metabolism has always just been known in my industry as how many calories your body burns. Mm -hmm. And that's metabolism. And then they have this thing called the basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories you burn while you're at rest. And so people start to lose what the real meaning of metabolism really is. So when you really, when you look up the definition of metabolism, all it is in a nutshell are all, it's, it's a word that describes the sum of all the processes that occur within your body. That's it. And what metabolism really is referring to is cellular function, not necessarily the calories that you burn because there's so many other factors that have uh that can contribute to how many calories you burn it's not just metabolism so metabolism is really about how well is your entire body functioning on a micro level as well mm -hmm. so the uh, to improve one's metabolism means to get all of your cells functioning better than they are that's what a true metabolism is and it, it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean you just suddenly burn more calories what it means is your body, when you have a good metabolism, does exactly what it's supposed to do given the input that you give it. So for example, when you exercise, you should burn calories. Well, if you have a great metabolism, when you exercise, you are maximizing the amount of calories that you're burning while you're exercising. When you're trying to build muscle, if you have a good metabolism, you build the greatest amount of muscle that you can because it's doing, the body is doing its job correctly. Same with losing body fat. When you do things that are meant to lose body fat, a high metabolism promotes the greatest amount of body fat loss. And the same goes with health because your metabolism, like I said, it's the sum of all the functions and activities of all the cells in your body that include all of your immune cells as well. So we've been able to reverse disease by raising one's metabolism and optimizing cellular function. Oh, I hope that you talk about that at the summit because oh, I- Oh, well, maybe I will. <laughs> because I think that is such a, um, an issue with people. I hear that all the time, like, oh, I can't lose weight because I have, my doctor told me I have a slow metabolism or this and that. And I, I just get, always get so frustrated because I think, well, that's just, that's not even an explanation. You're using, you know, you're using that whole terminology wrong. And I think that if you got up there and helped people understand, I think that you would turn on a lot of lights, light bulbs in people's minds. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, that's one of the things that you cover. <laughs> I will. And you know what? So since you're having both Brooke and myself speak, we're like a one-two punch. So oh. whenever we go to seminars and conferences, Brooke will go on stage first and she'll talk about how to raise one's metabolism to reverse their disease. She doesn't call it metabolism though. It's just raising your body's health and putting in what's missing. And then I come in and say, hey, by the way, what you just learned happens to be my rapid fat loss protocol. Yeah. And the way it worked is by raising your metabolism. And let me show you some other tricks. So we are, we're, we're definitely yeah. going to talk about oh, that. Good. Everybody loves the presentation and they walk around, they walk out going, oh my gosh, now it all makes sense. That's all the dots are finally connected for me. Now I know finally what to do. Yeah, that's that. I, I really, I want people to leave this summit just going, 
I never knew that. I learned so many new things and, and, and really the practical application too of everything that we're sharing with them, how to go home and live their life using all of those great things. Um, so I thought that I saw um, uh, kids or something in one of your videos. Do you, do, you, do you have children? We have two boys. You have two boys. Six and 10 years old. Yep. So have you raised them to eat plants? Oh my goodness, not just to eat plants, but to love them oh. exclusively. Oh yeah, we do. We, so we feed them smoothies every single morning. Oh. Smoothie recipes that we give to the world to reverse, their disease, to reverse people's diseases and health. It actually happens to also make children into super powered human beings. Wow. Our wow. kids brain development has been optimized. Their body and muscular development is optimized. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They are in such amazing shape. It's a beautiful thing to see. And then not only that, but they also understand not only the health reasons, but also the ethical reasons behind. So our two little kids have become little activists in school, uh -huh. <laughs> influenced all of their friends in school. They've even influenced their teachers, wow. their mind about nutrition. So what are some of your challenges that you have um, having children that follow a plant-based diet? Um, what are I some will tell you, I will tell you exactly. The biggest challenge that we have having two kids that have followed a plant-based diet since birth is that they are smarter than us now. Uh, <laughs> both Brooke and I, we were not on a plant-based diet and I look at my kids and say, wow, I, we could have been so much smarter than we are right now. This is not That's fair. Oh, this wow. Is, should have been given out 40, 50 years ago. Wow. And we could do it better. Our kids are so smart, they're outsmarting us. Wow. I mean, in terms of intellect, in terms of, well, I mean, every day, like they do something that I look in my mind, I look at my six year old and he says something or has some thought or realization. And I just go, gosh, I, you're six years old and you're coming up with this right now. This is something that I didn't even figure out until I was 18. This is, oh this is in, insane. Yeah. They're really, really smart. They outsmart us. I mean, you know, they get in trouble in such in ways though, where it's like they find loopholes constantly <laughs> in our rules, loopholes that, with my best thinking, um, didn't even know that it exists. And then they spot the flaw like that. I mean, so they're really, really good at getting away with stuff and not getting in trouble when they're actually doing things that should have gotten them in trouble. <laughs> so they'll be good teenagers then. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. At least at the very minimum, they're really hardcore, uh, good hearted, compassionate Aww. vegans that promote the health and the ethical aspect of it. That's heartwarming. I love, I love hearing that. Yeah. Um, I only wish that I could go back in time and discover the whole plant-based world um, when I was having my children. That's oh. my biggest regret is that, but you know, then once I became that, um, my kids are already teenagers, like older teenagers. So they kind of rebelled a little bit, but now I see the impact of, you know, just modeling my behavior because now they're following along doing things that I'm very, very proud of. But I wish... I could go back in time and, you know, at the time I even became pregnant that I would be plant-based because, you know, I would love to have raised kids. Cause I really do believe what you're saying is that the food that you're feeding them is empowering and, and, and just stimulating their brains and helping all those brain cells. Cause that's the crucial time for, you know, brain development is when, you know, kids are young, they're growing all those brain cells. And so you're really, you're creating these geniuses <laughs> Little it's buddy true. Pieces. It's true. And it's validated by the tests that they're taking yeah. too. I mean, my, my second, my, my two, I mean, sorry, my six year old mm -hmm. um, tested out of first grade. He wasn't, so he was too young to get into first grade. So uh, we insisted. And so what they did, which is a weed out process, they, ins they, they said, okay, well, you know what? Your, your five year old at the time, he was five years old. He has to take this test that nobody was expecting for him to pass. He goes in there, kicks kicks the, the heck out of it. <laughs> he, just, uh -huh. he goes in there, comes out strutting like, oh, I took that test, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> and turns out he scored really, really high too. Oh. So he got himself into first grade before anybody else. Now he's in second grade. One, he's like one of the smartest kids in the entire uh -huh. grade. And then my, my 10 year old just passed the standardized test, scored a 100 on it. Uh, he's like up there in the top three in the entire district. Yeah. So you gotta share this. I mean, and I know that's not from 
I mean, maybe Brooks brain, but maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, it's more her genes than anything else, but I've never achieved anything like that in my entire life. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that it's got to be part of the diet. Your diet, you know, determines really everything. hundred percent. Um, so you have a, a, a book coming out soon, I heard. No, my book's already out. Oh, it's already out? My book's already out. It's, it's, it was, it's Miracle Metabolism. I think you were talking okay. about Brooks' book, yes. which Good, goodbye autoimmune that okay. launched uh just a couple months ago okay that's it and was uh became a bestseller right out the gate wow that's wonderful that's wonderful um so we're so excited for you to be part of the first ever food is medicine summit and expo um so what are you looking forward to sharing with folks at that event what i am going to be teaching everybody depending on how much time you give me because i can go on for <laughs> a long time everybody will walk out the room knowing exactly how to raise their metabolism dramatically that very same day. I'm gonna teach them exactly what to eat so that they can start losing more fat quickly and have an easier time maintaining their ideal body weight without, this is the best part, without giving up any of their favorite foods. Wow. How about that? I love that. Yep. Love that. And if we have some time, I may share some of my rapid fat loss secrets that I only use on my celebrity clients to get them in shape really, really quickly. Wow. So going from flat tummy to six pack in three weeks or less, I might share a little bit about that. And if I have even more time, I might get into how to build a rapid amount of muscle in a very short period of time on a 100% plant-based diet. But we'll see. It really depends on what you give me. I got to put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bring it on. I'm happy to work. <laughs> so real looking forward to, you know, hearing your inspiring messages and seeing you guys in action. I think people are really going to benefit from it. I want to say thank you so much for visiting with me today. I really appreciate it.